log five moving right along gonna try and uh, lay out the stairs and cut them see how that goes um, the other thing I'm doing is I think I'm retiring my nail bags I'll show you what I'm replacing them with yeah these things are just uh, it's been around too long they've served me well I like this swivel though I may steal that and put it on my other ones my new ones coming I'll show you check this out so just a quickie here I uh, had a hard time with my nail bags yesterday I need suspenders <laughs> I need suspenders plus the old leather I mean that I think those nail bags have got to be 40 40 years old something like that anyway um, so I got some modernized ones that are padded and um, yeah might be a little bit better for an old man anyway I'll be waiting on that and uh, maybe that might help uh, speed things up out there so I don't have to keep you know getting up and down to get a tape measure and a square and all that stuff how much of the train wheel is going to touch the ground I've laid out the stairs. I've got three of them put together here. Uh, substantial boomerang here in a couple of them, but I think I can work with that. The bottoms won't be all that aligned, but the steps will match. Um, yeah, it's a higher rise than I wanted. It's an eight inch rise, but uh, if I... <laughs> If I did a seven and a half inch rise, I'm shy one step, so my 16 footers aren't quite long enough. So this is gonna be big stairs. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna screw these all together and then cut them with the beam saw so you can stand by for that. There she goes, the little lady. So awesome. So I'm out here putting stair, stair uh, stringers together and uh, she just brought me breakfast. Check this out. How did I get so lucky? I don't know. This is two days in a row, too. Um, sausage, bacon, toast, homemade hash browns, sliced tomatoes. Pretty like, oh, and a glass of milk. Pretty awesome. All right, got to eat breakfast. Bye.
stairs. All right, I got them all rough cut now. Um, I need to come in with a sawzall and clean up every one of these uh, 16 steps each times three. Whew, and it's already hot and humid and I have so much sawdust, I don't want to turn the fan on because I'll look like I'm tar and feathered. All right, bye. I just got a really cool phone call. Um, God, I need a haircut. Jeez. Um, yeah, a buddy of mine, Chris, you know who you are. He's been watching my videos and uh, he's been kind of feel sorry for me, feeling sorry for me watching me on the ladders. So uh, he's got a B4 stand, which is like a military uh, hydraulic, platform you know like a hand pump hydraulic anyway he said i could borrow it so next time he comes out to the airport um you know we'll hook up and i'll get that thing and make my life a little easier out here anyhow all right i just had to throw that in there i'm gonna get to doing something cutting out these little triangles on these stairs got a new tool I got a uh, a corded uh, screw gun collated drywall screws so let's give it a try and see how this works first screw nice oh my god was that up oh, it's setting them almost perfectly Okay, I got her figured out. What a beautiful tool. Beautiful. I came from the era of drywall nails. Cupped drywall nails and a flat-headed hammer. And you know, you leave the donkey track to fill with mud. <laughs> and then I graduated to uh, drywall screw guns, corded of course, where you know, they'd set the screw for you. But now this collated stuff, oh my God. And they're reasonable. Well, vlog five, I'm burned out, tired. A um, little bad news, I don't have sufficient headroom. Uh, you'll have to duck, I'll have to duck carrying shit up there. Uh, but, you know, if I'm gonna build in 10 foot sections, I guess that's what I get. I have to make a run to the big box store so I can uh, get some 2x8s to go in here. <sighs> anyway, alrighty, that's all I got for today. I'm pretty doggone tired. Got the collated screw gun going, that works pretty good. There's a few screws that didn't go, I had to use some Kita to drive them the rest of the way. 
Um, but, you know, as stairs go, as cutting stringers go, they're damn near perfect. I mean, they are literally identical. So, all right, need some OSB for up on top. Got my uh, big box store list ready to go. Uh, the only thing I gotta do is finish the mezzanine area, you know, to turn around when you go up the stairs. Uh, but that's for another day. I'm tired. Time to wrap it up. I don't know why I, I just, I wake up so damn early. I think it's the meds they got me on. I woke up at 2.30, couldn't go back to sleep. So that's when I edited the video from yesterday, the vlog four. Anyhow, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll catch you uh, tomorrow or the next day. Oh, yes. I just got out of the shower. It feel, felt so refreshing. Oh, I was hot and tired and sweaty and dirty and... Um, yeah, all that sawdust today, whew. It was like getting tar and feathered. And uh, anyway, I forgot to thank Mark, who came by and helped me set a couple of these stringers here. Um, without some help, I couldn't have done it alone. So, yeah, the only issue is that header right there that's a head knocker it's uh it's very low uh, one of the curses to building without plans or not drawing anything up first but really because i would have gone to a landing but because of the shape of the building there's no way to put in a landing and so i had to sacrifice a little headroom here to keep the stairwell from being out here. And uh, yeah, and building in 10 foot increments is really tough. Anyway, thanks Mark. I appreciate you coming by and helping me with that. I should have shot some video of it. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, and that's the end of vlog five. Take care guys and gals. Altimeter 3000. ILS approach runway 26 left.